Okay, here's an example of a past uh, catapult car. Um, it didn't perform that great, um, but it was a unique kind of idea, so I thought I'd just show you, maybe give you some other ideas. I'm not saying that this is maybe the way you should do it. Um, you'll notice uh, right here, it's just basically a simple mousetrap with a, a spoon on it, and they just set it like a normal thing for, a cat for the catapult. So you put the ping pong ball in here, and then um, what they actually built was this little roller coaster here, and they put it like a ball right here on top of this little hot glue dollop. And um, um, this isn't obviously going to work, but uh, this mouse trap then had a little pole on it, and it would be attached down here like your regular uh, mouse trap car, and this would be wound up like this all the way down. So when I let it go, it would start rolling like this, trying to get into the zone to shoot it. And eventually this little pole would come up and it would tap the ball and the ball would roll down and it would hit the thing and it would uh, launch, the, launch the catapult. So that's a lot of moving parts and it, there was obviously there was quite a bit of problems with this whole thing. Um, but that was an interesting uh, method on how to kind of have a weight mechanism so that you had time to get into the zone um, before the ping pong ball launched. So I can keep this in the uh, classroom if you want to take a look at it and see how they how they did all this. Um, I'm sure um, a lot of you could probably come up with something something maybe a little bit uh, more efficient and better. All right, we're going to go out and check out the catapult car field. It's right outside the physics door. So we have, right out here in the hallway, um, you have a catapult car device. And this uh, little line right here in the hallway is the start line. So it needs to be completely behind it. Um, I'm going to allow you to put it anywhere behind the start line, uh, clear back up here, uh, even to this uh, where the door entrance comes out. So it has to be behind the start line. Um, you let it go under its own power. It needs to travel one meter to this dark line right here. The entire catapult device, the entire catapult car needs to be in uh, this launch zone right here between these two um, black lines. So this is the launch zone right there. There we go. Between these two black lines. And so the catapult car needs to make it all the way it passed this first line before it shoots. It cannot shoot if any part of the car is before this first line. The entire device needs to be past the line in the launch zone before it can shoot. It can be shooting while it's moving. That's totally fine. It can be shooting while it's moving, but the entire car must be in this first lot past this first line. The second line here is the end of the launch zone. The car can never go beyond that line never go beyond that line ever. So it has to come to a complete stop sometime in between these two lines um, when it's done. So again, the car starts on behind the start line. It needs to go travel one meter into the launch zone before it launches. It has to be completely in the launch zone before it launches. And it can never go um, outside of these two lines once it has gone in there. It can shoot any time that it's completely inside the launch zone. It's going to try to launch it over this board and through these two uprights right here and then somewhere on to the uh, uh, target. So um, we got there on the corners, we got a 2.8, um, we got 2.9, we have a 3, that orange zone, anywhere in that orange zone and in between would be an A. And then a 3.1, a 3.2. If you hit the bucket, it's a 3.3. If it goes in the bucket and bounces out, it's a 3.4. And if it goes in the bucket and stays in the bucket, that's what you're trying to get. That's going to be a 3.5, as long as the car stayed within um, the launch zone. So if you look down here on the, uh, on the cat rubric here, um, you get a 1 if you build a resemblance of a car. Something that kind of looks like a car, like a catapult car, not a mousetrap car, a catapult car, you get a 1. If it enters the launch zone and stops, and that's all it does, that's a 1.5. If you get a legitimate launch, which means it enters the start zone, 
or the launch zone, and it and it launches a ping pong ball. It doesn't even matter if it launches it backwards. Anyway, it launches it anywhere. That's a two. If it goes over the board and through the uprights, that's a 2.5, which is a B. So if you can get it to go over a, a legitimate launch, it goes over the board and through the uprights, that's a 2.5. And then we have all the zones. If you land in the zones, it's not where it eventually lands or bounces into, it's exactly where it lands. So on the first bounce where it hits, that's the zones. If it hits the bucket on the fly, it's a 3.3. .3. If it lands in the bucket, it bounces out, 3.4. If it lands and stays in the bucket, that's a 3.5. So this year what we're going to do is we're just going to average your best two trials. So you'll shoot it, you can shoot as many times as you want, but you're going to get the, um, I'm going to keep on writing whatever your best trials are and the, your top two best trials, I'm going to average those for the grade. Uh, uh, how do you get a 4.0? I always have a challenge on how you can get a 4.0. You can add 0.1 every time you get it into the bucket. Every time you get in the bucket. So if you get in the bucket the first time, you have a 3.5. If you get it in there again, you're going to get a 3.6. Again, 3.7, and you can do that all the way up until you have a 4.0, and then that's as high as you can go. So, just to review here, we have the launch zone, a catapult device, some kind of device behind this starting uh, line, and it's going to travel one meter. It must go completely into the launch zone before it fires. It has to be completely in the launch zone before every part of it car needs to be beyond that launch zone line before it fires. And then once it's in the zone, it can never leave the zone ever. It needs to fire sometime with when it's in this zone, sometime when it's in this zone, and then it can never ever go beyond this end of the launch zone. It needs to try to shoot through the uprights over the board and try to get it into the bucket is the best uh, scenario. So I have this crazy, crazy car set up here, and actually I don't have it set up to run. I just have it, I just set up the little spoon on the catapult car, and we're going to see, see where it goes. Let's see, I wonder how I can do this. Let's try to set this up so you can kind of see. Here we go. Okay, ready? Whoa. Okay. So you see how far it went there. That uh, might have been pretty good, actually if the, the car was all the way up here to this zone right here, um, it might have come really close to that bucket. So you don't need much of a um, catapult. You can put a spoon on a mouse trap, and a lot of times that'll do uh, good enough. Hopefully you understand the rules for the, uh, for the catapult car project, and uh, maybe this time uh, you can go ahead and get started on it uh, real quickly.